Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be doing a makeup tutorial for you. I took a couple weeks off there and it was so nice to just not think about filming for a while. I haven't done that in over eight years, but I have missed filming and I am back on track and I'm so excited because we're starting off with a typical Alana everyday makeup look. That's what you guys love. That's what I'm gonna do. Bunch of new products, more so to me, but also to the UK and Ireland. As you guys know, I live in Northern Ireland, but if you're new to my channel, I am Canadian. I moved over here eight years ago. So if you wanna see this makeup look, which is so glowy, little pop of pink, I feel fresh, ready for spring. Just keep on watching. Starting with complexion, I did put a little bit of fake tan on my face last night because it was needing some color. So I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow, and I think it's in the shade Medium 4. This was just sent to me because they've launched in the UK and Ireland. It's the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 25. It's in the shade Light Neutral Warm 170. I feel like it's a bit pale still, and it's the darkest one they sent, but we're gonna try and mix and make something out of this. I'm obsessed with the Halo Glow from e.l.f. I think potentially more than the Charlotte Tilbury one, only because I feel like it's not as glowy. It's glowy still and gives you beautiful skin, but I feel like you can actually wear it on its own a little bit better than you can the Charlotte Tilbury one, especially if you're oily and like texture prone, acne prone. I think this one's a little bit more complimentary on your skin. Now taking this, and I'm only gonna do like one pump. See, it looks quite pale. I'm gonna keep it in the center of my face. It's like the one time I actually want a foundation to oxidize so that it doesn't look so pale, because those hopefully blend in. Okay, it's definitely still too pale for me. I'm gonna have to get a darker shade. Blend it out, I think that's fine. The Halo Glow definitely helped add a little bit more depth, but that overall glow, I think I'm gonna have to give credit to the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I still think I'm gonna get a different shade of the Kosas uh, foundation just to give it a true chance because I love the concealer. So I feel like I like the foundation. It's just not the right shade. They did send, Kosas the brand did send a whole bunch of things. They sent the concealer, which I'm obsessed with. And I actually just finished mine that I bought a year and a half ago. So perfect timing. I had shade 2.5 Cool, which I actually did like under my eyes because it had a little bit more of a pink beige undertone so it really brightened they sent a couple new shades this is 03w so i think it could be a little bit better in the summer when you're pulling a little bit more of a golden tone so i'm gonna put a little bit under my eyes yeah this is like your true your typical like concealer shade for my skin tone light medium i'm also gonna put it on some blemishes and scarring that's coming through. I'm gonna take this little Huda Beauty brush and stipple it into the areas that I don't want to blend, like over blend. I just wanna keep it in that area. I've actually never really used this concealer for spot concealing because the shade I had really only suited under my eyes. Probably still too pale <laughs> for this area, but whatever, bronzer will warm up the skin after. I'm gonna use this Kosas Feathery Cloud Set. I think it's a setting powder. It's in the shade Feathery. Oh, it's not called Feathery Cloud Set. The shade is Feathery. And oh, packaging is cute, nice and clear, like a cloud, I guess. This looks like it would be the perfect shade. So I'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush and just keep it at the center of my face, a little bit under my eye. Yeah, that's really pretty. Lightweight, but not cakey. Only thing I'd say, wish it had a little compact because powder is normally one of those handbag essentials for me and my skin type. So it would be essential to have a little mirror here, but still very cute. Now to add a little bit of warmth and bronze, I'm gonna take this Jones Road Powder Bronzer. It's in the shade Light Tan. They sent a couple of them, but I think this one suits me and my complexion at the moment. I'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush. This brush, you guys. I designed it and it won't be coming out to the fall, but it's a little prototype. So the silver bits will be gone and branding will be on it, but it's unreal. I'm gonna pop it into my cheekbones. Just get that product on there and then we can blend away. This size of a brush just makes it uber fast and simple to blend on bronzer, but because it's tapered at the sides, it fits right into your cheekbone. Cause if you're a long time follower, you will know how many times I've taken a massive brush and just pinched it to get in my cheekbones. So I just, made it a nice tapered size, but still fluffy and large to cover surface area. My skin is skinning. I'm gonna use the other side just to clean up 
any over blending just at the cheekbones to snatch them i'm really happy with how complexion is looking let's move on to blush it is the most beautiful spring day and i'm looking out the window behind you guys and there is a cherry blossom in full spring which has inspired me to pick this blush shade especially with yellow you can't go wrong with a little bit of cream blush in girl next door from pearl beauty because it's just the perfect cool tone pink and it's it's just giving me spring so I'm gonna take it on our cream brush and keep it at the high points of my cheek initially get most of the product on there a little bit over my eyelid and then take it on to the apples of my cheek so that we're in a lifted blush motion and our cheeks feel nice and high I'm gonna move up a little bit closer I'm gonna use this Kosas brow air brow it's in the shade clear and it's just gonna kind of give shape to my brows but obviously not coverage because it's in clear so I'm gonna use this first and then I'm gonna go in with a brow pencil to get any sparse areas it's very lightweight I feel like nothing's going on my brows but I can see the shape is forming so it's very very lightweight then I'm gonna go in with the Kosas brow pop and this is in the shade taupe I'm literally just popping this wherever I see a sparse area so that just tends to be in my tail but again this feels so lightweight and took like two seconds for a little pop on the eyes just to make my blue eyes pop i'm going to take this bronze it's called the 10 second eye it's a liquid eyeshadow in blaze it's a really pretty bronzy shade i put this all over my lid ooh, and then quickly blend it out before it sets that's really pretty super subtle i think you could probably go on top if you wanted to build it up just slightly but it blends out like a dream just with your finger i love easy fuss free makeup and this definitely gives you a little bit of a moment for your eyes without being like intense eyeshadow which i don't think i've ever been an intense eyeshadow person so this is right up my street i'm obsessed with that eye so good for every day especially if you just want a little bit of color in there but it's super subtle and i know in the sun it will like catch the light which is so good for mascara i've already previously curled my lashes with my tweezerman lash curler i'm gonna take this clarins mascara in the shade brown but it's the mascara super volume and i've really been loving it especially because it is that brown shade but i think for every day brown is definitely having a moment so i'm just gonna do two quick layers of this it's a fiber brush not a silicone one and i prefer for silicone nine times out of ten but that one time I love this kind of brush for lip liner I have just confirmed a formula and color there's four of them they're not coming out till September because we changed manufacturers we redid the formula colors everything but now they're confirmed so I'm gonna do lip liner really quickly then we'll move on to lipstick and lip gloss at the moment we're really pulling those rosy tones out of our cheek which I love mixing a rose mauve with a more brown tone lipstick so i picked this up in london from the glossier store it's in the shade leo it's one of their generation g lipsticks so let's put it on quite florally for a glossier scent which is surprising but i love the feeling of that it's like a lip balm but like a matte lip balm that's a lip color up close i love the mix of the mauve lip liner with a more brown tone lipstick a little bit of lip oil from kosas this is in the shade Unbuttoned. This is just basically the perfect shade with what's going on with our lips, but it's gonna add a little bit of shine, hydration, and that's what we need, especially coming into spring summer. This is the makeup, but I feel like I could do with a little bit of highlighter. I'm gonna take some Sunkissed, which is very loved, and just pop it right at the tops of my cheeks just to add a little bit more glow. What do we think? groundbreaking everyday makeup but you know that's what you get at this channel i love a lot of these products kosas is definitely a brand that i think is so great and should be an everyday makeup essential so definitely check them out if you haven't already it is newer to uk and ireland and i'm loving it i feel like my skin looks hydrated and like you saw how minimal of a base we use so that just goes to show you the intention that went into the formula with those base products but i'm a fan i'm loving this look I have to go to Olive's little poem reading, which I'm very excited about. So let me know what you want to see in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.